Welcome to Austin Stories. Today's entitled parent story just it made my blood boil reading it, okay? So you've got to check it out. It is absolutely mental. You can also find the stories on the Austin Stories podcast, available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and more. Link in the description for you as well. Let's begin. So much drama. Babies bring out the worst in in-laws. Posted by Bye Queen for Life. Some backstory before I share the text messages that really make this great. PSA, this story is long because it contains messages, but the drama is worth it. This officially started because my grandmother-in-law really, really wanted to see my newborn son. My grandmother-in-law over the years has started to show signs of what I believe is dementia and doesn't make the best judgments. I've also realized she can be emotionally manipulative and has been way before she started to show signs of not completely being there. I won't go into much detail about this, just trust me when I say she's overall not a great person, but she's still my husband's grandmother and I would never have done anything to upset her. Now, after about two months, my grandmother-in-law has really been pushing to see my son. Both me and my husband were hesitant about this because she's been very sick recently. On top of that, she has a history of being sick but not telling anyone that she is until after the fact, so for example, like a family gathering. When I was super pregnant, we were invited to Thanksgiving at their house, and I declined to go because I was getting induced the next week, and if I got sick, they would have pushed it back further. My grandmother-in-law promised she was fine, but I didn't feel comfortable with it and stayed home. Not even two days later, she told mother-in-law that she was very sick and wasn't feeling great, even at Thanksgiving. All relevant to why I didn't want her to see my son yet, as we are still deep in RSV season and he had just gotten his first round of vaccines. However, much, much, much pushing and guilt tripping from both her, mother-in-law, and sister-in-law, we decided that she could meet our son at our house. Just a little detail, we live with my grandmother and she helps me so much with my son, honestly, the most amazing woman ever. We decided that if grandmother-in-law was going to come over, we were going to set boundaries to make sure our son was safe and to have our own peace of mind. The boundaries were that we weren't comfortable with grandmother-in-law holding son, but would love for her to finally be able to see him. I specify this because some people see it was wrong that we would exclude her from holding son, but we specified this to everyone before she came over and grandmother-in-law agreed with it. Remember, she has continuously been sick and won't tell anyone she is, and when it comes time to see son, no way in heck was she going to cancel if she felt ill. On top of this, we said she needed to wear a mask and take a COVID test beforehand. The day that she came over, we received a text from my mother-in-law that she was also coming with my grandmother-in-law and asked what time they should arrive. Mother-in-law has been to our house a few times, so it wasn't a huge deal, but I realize now it wasn't the best idea. They walk in, and grandmother-in-law shows my grandmother the COVID test, not us, but whatever, and proceeds to stuff the mask she was holding back into her purse. At this point, I'm kind of over it, but I just smile and talk to her for a little bit before going back to the kitchen while my husband took the dog outside to use the bathroom. When I was out of hearing range, or so she thought, she asked my grandmother to hold son. My grandmother turned to me in the kitchen and repeated the question, and I simply stated, uh, would you mind asking husband when he gets back? I figured, since it's husband's grandmother-in-law, it would be a lot gentler if he let her down. Instead, grandmother-in-law started crying, no actual tears, and exclaimed, why does no one like me? Remember what I said about being emotionally manipulative? Yeah, I was uncomfortable. My grandmother was uncomfortable. Our poor other dog in the kitchen with me was uncomfortable. I excused myself to go start laundry after checking with my grandmother she was okay holding son for another minute before my husband came back in. Immediately, immediately when I left the room, again, my mistake, my mother-in-law walks over, takes my son from my grandmother, and puts him on my grandmother-in-law's lap. Before this, son was smiling and laughing while my grandmother held him, but faced him toward grandmother-in-law. My son lost it and started screaming. 
My husband walks in at this point, sees son on grandmother-in-law's lap, and immediately grabbed him from grandmother-in-law and went into the kitchen. My mother-in-law was shocked and made a snide comment of, oh, so no one gets to hold son today. Then they both left soon after and my grandmother apologized profusely for the situation when I found out. It definitely wasn't her fault at all. Now comes the real dramatic part. Three weeks after what I will now call the incident, my mother-in-law has been calling husband and we explained to her that we were upset with how that happened. She didn't grasp what she did wrong and the conversation ultimately went nowhere. Another week and more calls. Here's where the text messages come into the story. Husband to mother-in-law said, Hey, I want you to know I'm not ignoring you, but I'm still not over what happened. We want you to be a part of ours and son's life, but because of the boundaries you broke, we don't feel comfortable having you over for a while. Next week. Sister-in-law to husband. Hey, want to do dinner at mom's on Saturday if y'all aren't busy? I want to see son. Husband says, No, mom still hasn't even tried to talk to us after her and Nana came here. The next day. Sister-in-law to husband says, Hey, what's the deal with mom and Nana? Something's been off since that day they came over there. Y'all have been distant. I just want to know what's going on. Husband says, I already talked to mom, but me and OP decided that we aren't comfortable with mom coming over for a while because she broke boundaries. It's important to us because we did discuss beforehand what we expected and son's health is more important than anything. Sister-in-law replies, Oh, okay, but uh, what boundaries were broken? I'm confused. She wasn't sick or anything. She'd been around son before that day that they went over there. What happened specifically that day that made y'all feel uncomfortable, other than Nana not wearing a mask? We already told mom about it. Don't worry. The next day. Side note, my postpartum depression has gotten extremely bad and in-laws were starting to be a little much on Facebook, so I took them off. Sister-in-law to husband said, Why did OP unfriend me and mom on Facebook? Stepdad just called and said mom is bawling her eyes out over this whole situation. I don't know what the deal is, but I hope you realize what y'all are doing to the family. I'm not trying to be in the middle of anything, but mom and Nana feel like they can't talk to you or OP. What's the deal? This crap can't go on forever. Y'all need to work it out. Husband says, Like I said before, we already talked to mom about it. You said you weren't going to choose sides and it seems you already have. Please stay out of it. OP unadded everyone because she has way too much going on and doesn't want to be in the drama. We never said mom wouldn't see son again, but we still need time. Son is our son, and mom and Nana broke a boundary that we set even before son was born. Even if someone in OP's family did the same thing, it would be the same outcome. We were hesitant about Nana coming over at all because of exactly what just happened. The next day, and after a phone call with sister-in-law, where sister-in-law said OP was causing all the drama. Husband says, After that conversation, me and OP have talked and decided we feel you need to completely stay out of everything going on. We understand you're trying to defend mom and be a messenger, but you have more than likely have unknowingly taken her side in this when there is no side. We are son's parents, and we get to decide who does and doesn't see him. We aren't going to keep going in circles on what boundaries are because we have already stated multiple times what they were. What matters now is that mom and now you can't respect that we need time to just move on from the situation. No one is trying to start drama, but by dragging more people into this, like dad, you are in fact causing drama and we don't appreciate it. In case you forgot, we were very hesitant on Nana seeing son for the very reasons that happened. Not only did Nana ask to hold son when both OP and I left the room, but mom then took it in her own hands to hand son to Nana. We already stated that we were concerned for son getting sick and we weren't comfortable with her holding him, but that wasn't good enough for them. Son is not a toy. We aren't mad at them, but the situation, but you have nothing to do with it. It doesn't matter. You are the messenger. You can still come and see son whenever you want, but we need time away from mom and to process the situation. Sister-in-law says, <laughs> okay. In case you're wondering, yes, sister-in-law did kind of come out of left field. I received comments that we shouldn't have just let this continue and just ignore sister-in-law, but we genuinely wanted her to just understand why we were upset and we would really like her to not get involved. I was starting to feel like maybe I was just a witch and posted the text messages, names hidden of course, to a Facebook group called Monster-in-Laws. 
Not even, not even a few hours later, and I received a text from sister-in-law with screenshots of the post and question marks. I have no freaking clue how she found the post as she is blocked on my Facebook, but she did. I felt very, very uncomfortable with her just happening upon my post or if someone on a group of thousands of people recognized the story and sent it to sister-in-law. Really not a huge fan of that. When I ignored her text, she sent the screenshots to my husband. Here's what followed. Husband to sister-in-law says, Can you just mind your own dang business? You have done nothing but stir the pot. OP has had nothing but problems since son was born, and honestly, the last thing she needs is this. I don't know what kind of resentment you harbor toward her, or why you even do, but you've hated her since we got married. Guess what? You're going to have to deal with it. OP and son are my family now, and they come before anything. I won't let you or anybody act this way toward us. Decide if this is worth having a semblance of a relationship with us. I don't give a crap at this point, because honestly, honestly, I have zero interest in ever talking to you again. Sister-in-law to husband says, I haven't done anything. I've just been the messenger in this whole situation. If that's what you want, then fine. Shows OP's true character. I forgave OP for what she did to you. She's always assumed I've had it out for her, but I haven't. You don't understand how much you've affected and hurt our family. OP caused all of this. I wasn't the one asking to see son. I was sticking up for mom and Nana. They felt like they couldn't say anything to you because they didn't want to upset you. I chose to be the messenger in this whole situation because I actually care and love my family. You've done irreversible emotional damage to mom and Nana, and, and now me. I hope you realize that, and I wasn't the one starting drama. If you don't ever want to talk to me again, then fine, so, so be it. Don't come back around later saying, I told you so. But, but because I've done nothing but try and be nice and accepting toward OP, and all I get is this. But if that's the life y'all chose to live, then go ahead. OP has never liked me or mom, or any of our family for that matter, and it said it comes to picking sides. Don't call me a pot stir because I've done nothing wrong. I've only told the truth, and sometimes the truth hurts. Getting mad and unfriending me and blocking me also doesn't solve anything. Tell me where I've gone wrong in this situation. Please, I was only looking out for mom and Nana because it hurts me to see them so upset. This is not guilt tripping you, this is just the honest truth. I haven't done anything wrong, yet I'm causing drama because I'm the only one not afraid to shoot you straight. Husband replies, I'm taking my wife's side. Like I said, it's sad you feel like you have to pick a side. We're adults, and y'all are married. When you get married, you don't pick sides. Am I wrong? Please tell me what I did wrong. Honestly, this could have been over with the first text to mother-in-law. Husband and I just needed a week or two to feel comfortable having them over again, and instead, sister-in-law made it worse. Oh, I think I am going to need a nice cold Mountain Dew after reading this one because like, this is a blood boiler. As you're reading this and putting this emotion and, and, and pulling these words off the page, it's like, holy cow, this has to stop. This character, this blame gaming, this I did nothing wrong, the traits of narcissists, like they don't take blame, nothing is their fault, everybody else causes the drama, but they never do. There's a funny phrase that I have heard once. Tell me if you've ever heard this before in the comments. Please, that I'm not alone. If it smells like crap everywhere you go, check your own shoes. And that, that applies to this story so much. OP, I, I am so sorry that you're dealing with this. This is absolutely terrible. Thank you for standing your ground with your husband. Thank you for not giving up husband as a dad. You all, this is a crazy situation and you're just coming out on top of it stronger and the better person. Way to go, OP. Entitled stepmom tried to take over and sabotage our baby shower. You gotta check out this literally insane story. Click it on your screen here so you don't miss out and I'll see you there.